Well, it's like the title says. I'm going to give you 10 compelling reasons why you, as a 3D artist, should dump Cinema 4D and start using Houdini instead this year. But first, a quick overview of the two companies. Houdini is developed by Toronto-based SideFX, who adapted it from the Prism suite of procedural generation software tools. Houdini is most commonly used for the creation of visual effects in film and television. It is used by major VFX companies such as Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar, DreamWorks Animation, Double Negative, and ILM, to name a few. Cinema 4D is a 3D software suite developed by the German company Maxon. It has gained a strong foothold in the marketing and advertising industries, chiefly for its 3D motion graphics capabilities and its simple user interface that allows for a super fast turnaround on projects. So with that quick introduction out of the way, let's discuss 10 reasons why Houdini is superior to Cinema 4D. Number one, the node-based workflow. Houdini's node-based workflow offers a level of flexibility and control that is unparalleled when compared to Cinema 4D's layer-based destructive workflow. In Houdini, each node represents a specific operation, and the connections between them create a procedural network, enabling artists to experiment and iterate with ease. This non-destructive approach allows for easy modification and fine-tuning of effects without disrupting the entire project. On the other hand, Cinema 4D's layer-based workflow relies on stacking operations in a linear manner, which can hinder the creative process and make revisiting previous stages challenging, which in turn can make your demanding clients even more challenging. Number two, automatic history control. The node-based workflow gives you an automatic, limitless history, allowing you to undo or tweak anything you did since starting the project. In comparison, packages like Cinema 4D and others tend to have a fixed undo limit, beyond which, well, you're screwed. Number three, it doesn't require plugins. Cinema 4D may be one of the leading 3D packages, but what if you one day had the requirement to create a waterfall or a car explosion? Well, you would have to purchase third-party plugins like RealFlow and FumeFX to achieve this. Houdini has clouds, fluids, explosions, and dozens of other simulation systems all built in natively. This allows for more control over your project, as these systems can communicate with your other geometry nodes seamlessly, not to mention, save you money and time. Number four, better MoGraph. Cinema 4D is known as the king of MoGraph, but what if I told you that Houdini actually had superior MoGraph? Inverted commas. A common counter-argument is that too many nodes are required to achieve the same effect as Cinema 4D. Well, here is a MoGraph effect created in Houdini, using only three nodes, which might be even fewer steps than creating the same in Cinema 4D. Not to mention Houdini allows the integration of fluids and explosions into your MoGraph-type effects, allowing for crazier-looking animations. Number five, godlike control down to individual points. The ability to control individual points in Houdini provides artists with a significant advantage in terms of precision and versatility when crafting intricate visual effects. This granular level of control enables users to manipulate specific points in a geometry, opening up endless creative possibilities and allowing for the fine-tuning of effects, animations, and simulations. By providing direct access to each point's attributes, such as position, color, and velocity, Houdini allows artists to create highly customized and complex effects that are challenging to achieve in other software. Number six, the nodes are made of nodes. The ability to open up generic nodes and edit them in Houdini offers a considerable advantage to artists seeking maximum control and customization in their projects. This feature allows users to dive deep into the inner workings of a node, revealing its underlying structure and functionality. By gaining access to these core components, Artists can modify, extend, or even create new functionality tailored to their specific needs and vision. Number seven, it runs on Linux. Houdini runs on Linux, which can result in up to 70% faster simulations and generally faster render times. I guess because Windows sucks. One significant advantage of using Linux is its lower operating costs, as it eliminates the need for expensive licenses and support fees associated with proprietary operating systems. This cost-effectiveness enables studios to allocate more resources to hardware and talent, ultimately boosting their creative potential. Number eight, more and more companies are adopting it. The adoption of Houdini by an increasing number of companies is a testament to the software's powerful capabilities and the industry's growing demand for sophisticated visual effects. Not only does Houdini cater to the needs of VFX artists, but it also offers robust solutions for animators, modelers, and game developers enabling seamless integration into various pipelines. As a result, companies from diverse industries, including film, television, advertising, and gaming, are turning to Houdini to meet their evolving requirements. Number nine, 
It's free. Yes, Houdini Indie is completely free. You can render up to 1280 by 720 pixels, and they don't even put watermarks on the rendered images. There are no time limits. The restrictions that are in place would only be a hindrance if you were planning on using Houdini in a commercial pipeline, which is understandable. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download your copy today. Number 10. It's easy to learn. Houdini has gained a reputation as being very hard to learn. But is this really true? Sure, when you look at this type of network graph, you may feel overwhelmed. But bear in mind that someone created this network step by step from a single node, so it won't seem intimidating to them, as they are familiar with it. Sure, the node-based workflow is a different way to work, but once you get into the swing of it, it's no harder than learning Cinema 4D. So that's it. What do you think of the points I raised? Have I convinced you to switch over? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider buying me a coffee with a small super thanks, and subscribe for more content like this. Anyway, see you in the next episode. Carter J. Burke, signing out.